it is Mental Health Awareness Week. And of course, when it comes to the mental health of seniors during this pandemic, they have suffered a lot. Do you feel a, a boost in morale amongst them? I do, actually. In those long-term care residences, I do. And especially with the staff as well that work in the residences. I mean, they're now not isolated in their rooms anymore for mealtime, so they're able to go to the dining room. There are some activities starting again. And so, yeah, there does seem to be a little bit more of a you know pep in their step as they're walking around the residence. But as they regain, you know, some freedoms, Stephanie, is there cautious optimism because... We aren't out of the woods yet. Not everyone is fully vaccinated yet. And we're still hearing reports of outbreaks here and there. Yeah, I mean, that's a great point, Laura. I think that the the seniors themselves, those who are living in the residence, feel pretty positive um, because they have been doubly vaccinated and they are able to, you know, get out and around, as I said, within the residence. I find that it's the caregivers that are a bit more cautious. And I mean, the family caregivers, many of them don't even have that first dose yet, or some only have one. And so they're very, very concerned still of going into the residence without that second dose, with all the variants floating around. Uh, and also there's some unique restrictions about how caregivers can visit. So that's still creating a sense of, you know, geez, yes, we're, you know, on the men, but we're not there yet because we still can't access our loved ones in the way that we would like. Mm -hmm. And what is the current situation, though, with visits? I mean, if people are, you know, you said it, you know, it's Mother's Day Sunday. People are so eager uh, to see their grandparents, especially because many of the caregivers are our children. I haven't seen we haven't seen our grandmother in over a year. Uh, do you think that there will be a loosening of restrictions on the horizon? <laughs> Well, I can't speak uh, for the public health measures at all. Um, personally, I don't think that there is going to be a loosening anytime soon. I mean, right now they're limited to identifying two caregivers, and that can also include paid caregivers. So a lot of families have people, paid caregivers, going every single day to spend time with their loved one. So if, let's say, there's two caregivers rotating seven days a week, they're the two spots. So now how does family get in? Mm -hmm. And some families have more than one kid. They might have three, four, five children. So how do you decide who's going to visit? So that's where I think there's still this cautiousness where it's not as we would want it to be, but at least people know that their loved ones are not isolated in their rooms anymore. And certainly that's helpful. And lastly, Stephanie, what about the, the, the damaging lingering effects of this pandemic? Patients who unfortunately developed dementia uh, because of the isolation or their condition got worse because of it. Yeah, I mean, that to me is is really the, the hardest hit um, area that we're looking at. And I think it's going to have long term impacts. And truthfully, Laura, I don't even think we know yet what those long term impacts are. People who had dementia and then were isolated in their rooms, it was just like a dip in their functioning, mm -hmm. a, a rapid deterioration with not only their cognitive functioning, but their mobility too, because they were isolated in their rooms. Um, and of course, there's more depression, more anxiety, more withdrawal, less communication. And yes, now they're able to walk around the residence, but none of them have really bounced back to their previous baseline functioning. Mm -hmm. And I don't think we've seen the effects yet because we're the, the long term effects yet, because as we know, the depression and the anxiety will linger for not only the seniors, yeah. but also the caregivers. And I think it's going to be a long time before we all feel like life is back. So cautious optimism is, uh, is the <laughs> yeah. word. Stephanie, thank you so much for your time. Sure, Laura. Thank you.